somehow what we do can uh, get back to society and can help them living better lives and uh, taking care of their health. That is one of the most important things we have. Normally home to ballet and opera, this week the Palo de les Arts will be hosting a different kind of event as renowned mathematician Victor Perez Garcia presents to mathematicians and non-mathematicians alike, asking the question, can mathematics help in the war against disease? Victor, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Perhaps we could start by explaining how, as a mathematician, you got into biology. Well, you know, I worked on different kind of problems some time ago. Ten years ago, I was working on quantum systems, mathematical modeling of the system, mathematical physics, and so on. But at some times, uh, at some time I felt that it was too far from the real world, and I started thinking that uh, whether I sh could do something more useful to people. And somehow we were exploring what to do, and we found an opportunity on mathematics and oncology, and from there to other problems in medicine. And at the time, how common was it for a mathematician to, to work with the life sciences? You know, it's now quite common to work on mathematical uh, biology problems. Uh, more typically, this means getting a model that has been written for a biological system, system and doing some kind of mathematical analysis with it. Uh, what is not, what's not that common, and I think it's not that common still, is, is working head-to-head uh, -head with medical doctors. So getting the problems directly from them, getting data, and trying to provide answers that are useful for them and not only scientifically interesting. Well, your lecture will be taking place in the auditorium. Should we go and have a look at it? Okay, yeah. So, Victor, we're here in the magnificent auditorium where your lecture will be taking place. What's the focus of your lecture going to be? Well, I'm going to focus on trying to, to show to the audience uh, what is the role that mathematics can play in, uh, in medicine. Uh, it will be general talk in the first part, and then I will focus on three uh, particular examples uh, from oncology, where I think some success has been uh, achieved, in the sense that uh, something that was born as a mathematical equation and uh, mathematical concepts and ideas has moved out through the development process towards products or, or things that aren't testing in clinical scenarios. And how can maths help in the fight against disease? You know, there are many ways in which we can help us apply uh, mathematicians in the fight against disease. And uh, one of them is uh, generating hypotheses. We try to understand the biology. We put some or at least essential uh, um, biological rules into mathematical models. And then we analyze the models and we, we can find things in the model. We can do many experiments in the model that we can do with uh, real patients. And then these models can suggest ideas that we can go back and test in animal models, in vitro experiments, and then finally maybe in, in patients if they work. Well, this is a fantastic venue for that lecture. Should we go and have a look at the balcony and see a little bit more of it? Yeah. So, Victor, from here we get a fabulous view over Valencia. How much of your work is involved with engaging with the public? Uh, you know, we engage with the public from time to time. Uh, we think this is very important. They support our research through universities, through research pro projects and so on. And this is why I think it's important to give them back and, and to make them feel that uh, this support is important and somehow this is relevant for them. And, and what would you like them to leave your lecture with tomorrow? Would you like to inspire them? Yeah, I would really like uh, them to feel that mathematics is somehow important so that we are not people that are somehow hidden in our offices thinking and very strange things uh, but somehow what we do can uh, get back to society and can help them living better lives and uh, taking care of their health that is one of the most important things we have uh, and what would you say in a nutshell what inspires you well uh, i uh, for me it's very inspiring the fact that uh, we can be useful because uh, sometimes when do, you do mathematics you feel that you are doing something that is difficult but is kind of useless. Maybe someone will use that maybe in 100 years or, but uh, this kind of mathematics has a very straightforward application so for us it's very inspiring to know that this, we are being useful to others. Well Victor thank you so much it's been great to talk with you um, we really wish you every success with the lecture. Thank you.